Hey guys, Sway here, back with another video, and today I have a LEGO review of the LEGO Spider-Man Mech. It is ages from 6 and up. It brings 152 pieces and set number 76146. I have to say, this is the first one I have of the Mech series, since there's another one of Iron Man, there's another one of Thanos. But unfortunately, for some reason, well not unfortunately, but for some reason, the Spider-Man one, Spider one kind of stood out more to me. Um, I don't know, maybe it's because I've been a Spider-Man fan for such a long time. Um, I definitely wanted to get the Iron Man one, but I wanted to get Spider-Man one first. Um, it's definitely one that stood out more. Maybe it's just because of the colors or the way it looks, or maybe because of the piece count. Um, I know this one has the same exact piece count as the Thanos one. But um, that really doesn't really like it doesn't catch my eye as much more between this one and the iron man one but you know who knows i might grab it more down the road and review it for y'all but this one i have for y'all today like i said 100 bring, brings 152 pieces um it does bring quite a few stickers not too much um i have to say it brings two stickers for the for the uh for the foot right here sorry foot for the actual feet parts and then for the shoulder pads right here it brings two stickers this is an actual printed piece which i'm so glad um but as far as uh stickers it's not that much sorry and right here on the fists right here top of the hand same thing for here so six and all it's not too bad of a sticker it could have been a lot worse but uh let me get that out of the way give you a look at the box right here um like i said six is an inches up seven six one four six is the the set number um like the design of the box the lego's been doing very well as far as uh giving good designs to boxes um that's the bottom of it with the barcode with the lego spider-man uh, logo right here and then on the top here's the actual minifigure like actual size and then oops let me fit that over and then again they go the marvel spider-man and then i actually kind of like this too right here let me put it sideways got like a like the marvel logo Plus, with that whole animated series, comic book style looking Spider-Man. Definitely like that. Um, and then that right there. It doesn't show too much as far as what the set does. Of course, it's a mech, so it's not going to do much. But it's a little bit of an idea of what what is to, uh, what are you getting with the set. Um, but yeah, let's get to the actual mech right here. Um, so let me... It's very easy to actually take them out. It's not that hard. You just pull down this whole chest piece and the whole chest piece just goes down because it's hooked up to a little uh, Technic piece there. But as far as that, but that's about it. This is the actual minifigure right here. Um, as I haven't had a Lego Spider-Man minifigure in about almost 10 years. Um, but as far as this one, I'm liking what they did. I love how vibrant the blue is. It's not too dark as it was when the to Tobey Maguire Spider-Man they were doing with those Lego sets um, but definitely I like the vibrant how it contrasts against with the red so you can definitely tell the detail that they have um, but yeah there's a Spider-Man spider logo on the back definitely more circular than I've seen before but I definitely like it um, no leg printing just here's a chest print right there show y'all Definitely love the spider logo on his chest. Definitely pops out, definitely. Um, I love the detailing on his headpiece here. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not just one, like, a normal Spider-Man, just, like, black outline with the white inside. They add a little bit of a gray to actually give it a little bit of more texture to it. I'm definitely liking it. Um, and they got a little bit of detailing on the back as far as web printing on the back of his head. So that's him right there. Set him to hit the side. But then here is the Spider-Man mech. Definitely love the way they did it here. Um, not too shabby for 152 pieces. They definitely worked with it. Um, you got the little bit of spider. I'm sorry. Spider web right here. You got a little bit of spider web right here. Um, like I said, printed piece. Sticker, sticker, and stickers on the bottom of the feet right here. Um... So that way you get a good look at how it is. It has quite a bit of a joint. Like this is posable. This is right here is posable. This right here is posable too. This actually, it goes not a full 360, maybe like a 180 almost, 270. 
but not all the way around, which is not a problem for me. You know, I still get, you still get a good amount of poses out of it. Um, and then here you got the, the sticker for that, for the top or palm of the hand. And then you got a little bit of a joints right here too. Everything's connected here completely. So there's a joint right there, the ball joint. And here's another ball joint right here. And then another ball joint connected from the shoulder to the actual body part of the mech. Um, I love how pretty poseable it is. Um, it's not too messy of a spider um, of a mech. I know I've seen different styles of mechs and they can be a little bit too crazy. And this is definitely not it. And I love what they did here, right here. I mean, obviously it's Technic pieces onto ball joints and then it's connected to the back with a Technic blue piece uh, on the front axle. Um, sorry, front axle, blue axle um technic piece which is not bad you know definitely love what they did with the with the set it's pretty easy in case you know you buy this for your kid and you want he doesn't want something that hard to build this is definitely something the booklet is a pretty good amount of you know pages um just wanted to give you a little bit of a view of how thick it was and you know it's it's not that big of a booklet um it's a pretty good size it does bring three um different bags um just to let you know and it will bring i'm gonna tell you right now it does bring extra pieces and one of the pieces that i got which i don't know if you get another set was these right here these spider web handcuffs which is pretty cool because i'm gonna take one of my uh sif uh imperial right here so hook that on because it's like little right there you hook that onto the palm of the hand and bam there you go so it's really good for stop motion definitely for playability definitely it's gone a long way um but you don't get too many uh you do get two of these clear actual things to put on his hands because which i didn't show you yet but i was waiting to the end you get these right here these are actually spread these are supposed to represent him shooting webs out of his web shooters this is more of a simple one. It's not that hard of a build. It's one stud with a, there, and then you got this. I've never seen this before, but it's really cool what they did with the little spider web, and then attaches to a little nozzle, and then you got the little spider web at the end of it, which is cool because then when you know when you're playing, you can attach that to the clear piece, and then you can attach it to his hand, and bam, there you go. So it's definitely good for stop motion. I mean, that was a more simple kind of a build, but this one is, I guess it's more simple. It's not too much. Um, only thing that makes it a little bit of a difficult kind of build, that, well, makes it looks kind of difficult, is you got this little uh, Technic piece right here um, connected to a web kind of piece. It all connects all together. It looks natural. Definitely, if you want to, instead of connecting it to Spider-Man, you can actually connect it to his... Um, mech right here just in that blue technic piece right here if you can see that and then you just connect that right there and then you just put up like a normal spider-man pose to web shoot put his hand in the position and there you go and he's completely easable like it's easy access to access the front chest like i say you just put that whole chest piece down and then you can like you put him right there close that and bam, there you go. And I, as far as this set, I'm definitely loving it. It's not that difficult of a set to build. It's pretty simple. It's far forward. Low high vibrant. The blue and red are. It's not too crazy, but it's not. And it's not too simple. You know, it's not uh, anything plain or anything like that as far as it goes, as far as color wise. But like I said, it's a great set overall. I'll give it a 8.5 out of 10. Um, that's going to be my rating as far as for this set. That's what I'm going to do for more reviews. Now I give you all an idea of what I think of it. Definitely, it's my opinion. You all can have a different opinion. Just let me know what y'all think. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, definitely hit that bell notification if you subscribe. When That way you get notifications when I post any time. I post every single week, every few days, or depending. But yeah, this was Sway with another review. I will see y'all at the next one.